Bought that new. Bought that used. Let's talk about it. What's up everyone? Anonymous Biker USA. First time here. Hit that subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Thanks for coming. New bikes versus used bikes. What's your decision? Well, let's talk about it. A lot of factors go into play when you're deciding to get a different bike, right? So when you do, are you one that automatically starts searching out new bikes right away? See what the ideas are, the cost, see what you get for your money? Or do you head right to the million places like Cycle Trader, forums, Auto Trader even has bikes for sale now, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, whatever it is. Or do you start looking around to see what kind of deals are out there? And what goes into that decision when you finally decide to buy? So, new, you go to the dealer, obviously, brand new bike, full warranty. You're going to pay a premium for it. But when you do that at the dealer, everything's done, right? Tax tags, title, everything's good. You just drive it out, you're, you're good to go. Any problems, you bring it back, covered under warranty most of the time, correct? So for that convenience, you're gonna pay a premium. You're gonna pay much more than you would on the used market. Used bikes. You have used bikes from a dealer, used bikes, private sale, right? Now, again, used bikes from a dealer. Usually get a little peace of mind because it's come, uh, you know, you have a certified pre-owned kind of program in place. And usually they give it the safety check and so on and so forth. Um, reputable dealers, that is. Um, and, you know, they have the ability right then and there. They can offer financing. Again, do all the documentation, all the legal paperwork, and you ride off happy with your different bike purchase. Private sale, wide open. Never know what you're going to get. Lots of pictures online. You go to visit, check out the bike if it's in close proximity. You know, that's another factor. Will you only buy a private sale bike if it's like within a couple hundred miles and you can go get it? Or are you willing to buy it? Maybe send a certified mechanic to go look at it if it's, you know, thousands of miles away and then ship it. Have you ever done that? I did that with a car, 1974 Corvette L82 4-speed. I didn't do it with a bike, but I did it with a car, had an independent mechanic go, give me the okay, and I had the car shipped to me, so it was just too far, I didn't have the time to get it. So would you do that with a bike, or are you only comfortable if you can actually put your eyes on it and go see it yourself? Now with private sale, obviously, there's more room to negotiate with the price, and when you get there, you can do all your basics, you know, cold start, look for leaks look for any damage if it was dropped ask your pertinent questions to feel it out and see if the person is telling somewhat of the truth right and you can get an idea I mean if you pull up and the bikes in the yard and it's been out in the weather and it looks beat but the pictures are pristine uh, you gotta be a little suspect right but if you pull up and it's garage capped and he has all the records and it's meticulous you're gonna be way more comfortable if you decide to purchase that so obviously all of this does come with good faith you have to have good faith in the purchase and you can kind of feel that out and you know as long as you walk away from the deal and you don't think you did great and they don't think they did great well then it was fair right and if it's too cheap it's too good to be true well it is so once you check and all your, you know, do a cold start, make sure the clutch feels okay, got a little bit of play, no, no crazy leaks that you see in the oil, run your hand over the frame as much as you can, see if there's anything that pops up, but tires, you know, 
certain expectation that you have when you buy used. So there's a couple of schools of thought it depends on your philosophy of purchasing, right? So if you buy new, chances are you plan on keeping that bike for a fairly long time or else you're going to be upside down. Unless you buy it outright from the get-go, good for you if you can do that. Ah, uh, because then you always have trade that you can get a high dollar value for because it's fully paid off. So if you're flipping your bike every two to three years and you do that, you're always in a good position. But if you're financing and you're buying new, pretty much you're going to keep it. If you flip bikes every two or three years, probably best to buy used because you get the best deal. And for the most part, when you sell it or trade it, you're gonna lose a little bit, but you're not gonna you're not gonna take a beating like you would if it was a new bike. So let me know in the comments below how you go about a different bike purchase. If it's always straight new, or you're willing to go used, and if you are willing to go used, is it from a dealer or is it private sale? And how many years old are you willing to go used? You know, like say you're looking for a particular bike, you know, the make, the model. And now we're in 2022, so are you willing like five years, seven years? What's your window? Will you go back 10 years? You know, all depends on if you're comfortable working on your own bike and you know how to fix stuff as well, right? Because obviously the older the bike gets, the less parts become available for certain makes and models, that is. So a lot of factors go into, this, into the decision of what you are going to purchase. Uh, I bought this Indian Scout new 2017 because it was a newer model and uh, the price point was was not an obstacle at all and I had 0% financing so it was free money it was a no-brainer and here we are what five years later and this bike is phenomenal and I bought the Goldwing used so that was a process right met the guy feel it out make sure there's no crazy problems get all the records but sometimes you truly don't know if there's anything wrong with the bike until you ride it for a month or two and you start seeing some little things that may pop up so it does take good faith and today's world with how good everything is digitally you know when you get to the DMV and you go to transfer the tag and the title you get that sigh of relief when everything is real there's no fraudulent title and it wasn't a copy who knows these days so it's one of the other advantages of going to a dealer whether it's new or used but you just got to be very prudent and diligent when you go forth and do that so new versus used private sale versus dealer thoughts below I'm sure we've all done it personally if the deal's good new I'll do it but if I sign, if I find something used for a good deal and a value and I feel comfortable with the situation, definitely do it. Because if I'm buying it used, chances are I'm holding on to that bike three to five years and I'm either going to sell it or flip it. Uh, if I'm buying new, I'm keeping it for a long time. A 2005 Triumph Daytona 650, bought it new, still have it 18 years later. Scout. I'll probably have it for 20 years and just keep it and just get a bigger garage as I collect, right? Flipping bikes every three to five years, buying them used, getting a good value allows you to expand your experience with different makes and models. You don't take a beating when you flip them because you didn't spend that much on them and you keep yourself in relatively good position to make the next purchase. So right now I'm in the used market looking. And we'll see what happens. Not quite even sure what we're looking for, but we're always looking. So, what sites do you use? Leave that in the comments below too. Everyone, you know, Cycle Traders huge, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist. But have you had any luck with one particular or one trusted more than the other? Let me know that. So, the forums are always good, but sometimes the forums, the post, or the thread is so old and it's hard to get a hold of people um, 
you got your social media, Instagram, people sometimes post on there to sell stuff. And in the community in general now with all the YouTube. But let me know. Just curious, quick topic, used versus new. Just want to know what you all do. Leave in the comments. Thanks for watching. And don't forget. I am Anonymous Biker USA.